Ease is meant for engineering calculations, and engineering calculations inevitably involve variables that represent physical quantities, and therefore these variables always have units. One of the most simple yet most powerful features of Ease is that it allows you to assign not only a numerical value to each variable, but also its units. This is a really great feature because the unit consistency of the equations will then be examined by Ease, and any unit issues will be flagged. And often these issues are related to underlying mistakes in the equations themselves. And so this is a powerful step towards debugging a calculation. Ease also facilitates the process of converting between units because it internally has included in it basically any unit conversion factor you would ever need. The units that Ease recognizes can be examined by selecting unit conversion info from the options menu in order to bring up the unit conversion information dialog. This left window lists each dimension, so for example length is a dimension, while the right window lists the units that are recognized by ease for that selected dimension. So for example over here you'll see things like meters and feet. If you select two units in the right window then ease will display the unit conversion information regarding those two units in red here at the bottom of the dialog. So let's do a simple example to illustrate how you can assign and check units in ease. So let's calculate the mass of a copper rod. The rod is 2 inches in diameter and it's 3 feet long. And the density of copper is 8.96 grams per centimeters cubed. You should note that density is a thermodynamic property and therefore density is available in ease for any of the thousands of substances that are included in the ease database, including various forms of copper. Uh, but these property functions we will cover in a later video. So this problem is really pretty easy. There's two equations, right? You need to first of all calculate the volume of the rod, uh, which you would do with this equation, and then the mass is just the volume multiplied by the density. So we know how to uh, enter equations into ease, and we know how to solve them. So here let's go ahead and enter uh, the inputs. So here the inputs are the uh, diameter, the length, and the density. And uh, if you solve the equations now and uh, examine the solution window, uh, what you'll see is that the value of each of these variables are indicated, but they have no units because we haven't set any yet. And there are several ways that we can set the units of uh, variables. Um, if you have a numerical constant like we do here, so the numbers 2 and 3 and 8.96 for this problem, those are just numbers. We can set the units for those numbers directly in the equations window uh, and we do that just by placing the desired unit within square brackets directly after the number itself. So here uh, I can indicate that the number 2 actually is 2 inches, so it has units of inches. The number 3 has units of feet. And uh, the uh, number 8.96 has units of grams per centimeters cubed. And if we go ahead and solve again, you should see that the solutions window now indicates both the value and the units for each of these variables. So let's go ahead and continue solving the problem by uh, entering uh, the equation first for volume. So here I'm uh, entering the equation for volume, and uh, in order to do that, of course, I need to access the value of pi, right, 3.1416 and so on. Uh, pi is a built-in constant in ease, and um, if you want to access any built-in constant in ease, you would type in the name of that constant followed by the hashtag to indicate that it's a constant. And we'll cover this in a later video. Uh, but pi hashtag is just the value of, of pi. All right, so let's go ahead then and solve the problem, and we'll look at the solution window. And what you should see is that there's uh, no unit listed after the variable v for volume, um, because we haven't set one. And also that down here at the bottom of the solution window, there's this red warning message that has appeared that indicates that ease has looked at your equations, and it's looked at the units, and it's detected a potential problem with unit consistency. All right, so if we want to examine this a little bit more, we can select uh, check units, and that'll bring up the check units window. And what we see is that Ease has identified that the equation for volume is not dimensionally consistent. So at this point, the variable V is dimensionless, the variable D has units of inches, and the variable L has units of feet. And of course, that, that really just doesn't work. So. So we can get even more help if we need it by clicking um, your mouse on the equation that has the unit issues and you'll get this pop-up menu. And uh, the very first option here is uh, to display 
uh, this equation but in uh, the formatted equation window and uh, when you do that you'll see that it shows the equation with the units of all the variables and constants indicated and this display in particular sometimes makes it really easy to identify unit problems so it's pretty obvious here that the units of the variable v for volume really ought to be what I guess inches squared times feet if you wanted to make it consistent with the rest of the equation so what we need to do in order to make our unit problems go away is set the units of the variable v and uh, we can't do that um, using square brackets as we did for the numbers because v is not a number it's not a numerical constant and so if we go back into the equations window and just put in square brackets inch squared uh, feet at the end of the equation like this uh, it's pretty ambiguous which variable in this equation we're talking about and that's not an acceptable way of setting units in ease so let's get rid of that and instead uh, we can set the units of V uh, in a few different ways one way is if we go to the solutions window and right click on V uh, what you should get is the specify format and units dialog as shown here so here I can set the units right in this box so I'll set the units to inches squared uh, dash feet and you should see that the warning uh, disappears and one thing we should note here is that when you are setting units and you use a hyphen that just means that uh, the units uh, go together on the same side of the divisor so in other words inches squared and feet are multiplied together here we can also set the units of a variable uh, directly in the equations window itself and the way you would do that is click on the variable name in the variable information palette that lives over here to the side and that should bring up a variable information dialog for that selected variable uh, as shown here and of course you can enter the units in this in this dialog and finally uh, if you want to you can enter the units for all the variables uh, in the variable information window and you get to that by selecting variable info from the options menu or just by hitting the F9 shortcut key all right <coughs> At this point, the uh, unit error has gone away, but we are left with uh, a volume in inches squared feet, which is really not a great unit for volume. Nobody would use such a weird unit. So this is where the ability of ease to convert between units is, is really helpful. So it would be better to convert the value of the volume to a more reasonable set of units, like maybe liters. And we could do this manually. So what we'd have to do if we wanted to do it manually is figure out what unit conversion do I need to multiply a number in inches squared feet by in order to get it into liters? And with a lot of effort, I would find out that that's uh, 0.1966 liters for every inches squared feet. Fortunately, Ease has built-in unit conversion information that is really easy to access using the convert function. So the convert function simply retrieves the conversion factor uh, between two units or combinations of units that have the same dimension and therefore the function requires two arguments and the first argument is the unit that you want to convert from while the second is the unit that you want to convert to so if we add uh, the convert function to this equation that calculates volume I would be multiply by, multiplying by convert from inches squared dash feet and then two liters and that should bring back the number 0.1966 which is you can see that really easily if you look at the equation in the formatted equations window here you can see that that convert function has literally just been replaced by the number 0.1966 liters per inches squared feet so the units of the variable V should now be correctly set to liters in the solution window. And uh, what you should note is that by default, ease won't do this for you, right? You have to set the units of each variable yourself. So you'll set the units to liters and uh, your unit uh, errors should be gone. And we can now proceed on to the last equation, which is computing mass. So let's enter that equation. Mass is uh, uh, density rho times volume. And again, I'm going to get kind of crazy liters if I just leave it like that. Density is in grams per centimeters cubed. Rho is in liters. So at this point, my mass is in, what, gram liters per centimeters cubed. Um, so I'd really like to convert that into something a little more meaningful, like kilograms or pound mass or something like that. So I'll use the convert function again to do that. 
and I find out uh, here that the mass is uh, right here uh, in kilograms. So the unit assignments of each variable will be automatically stored and the units will be uh, indicated whenever you use the variables in anything else like a parametric table or a plot. In the next video we'll discuss um, I guess what we would consider to be the best practice for working with units in ease or really in any software uh, when you're doing engineering calculations and then from there move on to another uh, exercise.